On this date in weather history, 1858 major flood underway on the Wabash River. It's still the fifth highest crest on a record at the Brown Street Overlook in Lafayette. We had a lot of bridges, dams destroyed, and a lot of damage to the canal. Uh, and there were a lot of dams and bridges de destroyed specifically on the Weah, Shawnee, and Wildcat Creeks. And that was a very stormy, wet, active spring there and summer. 53 was the cool low this morning at the station, but right now we're running upper 70s to low 80s with partly cloudy skies now. There's a 79 at the station, 81 Attica, 80 at Crawfordsville, and everybody's comfortable still. All the heat is to the southwest, and it's right on the edge of that heat wave that we've got showers and storms. Here we are. Here's some of the high Sears blowing off the tops of these. Now, the storms in northern Missouri dropping south. Some of these out in Iowa may get in here very, very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Notice lows running all the way down to right around 61 degrees, pretty close to normal for this time of year. So a wave of a few scattered showers and storms late tonight, early tomorrow morning, then a break, then around tomorrow evening, and even around Sunday and a Monday, and any one of those could have an isolated severe wind gust or two with them. There are the lows, upper 50s east to low 60s at our west tonight, 62 Fowler, 57 Burlington, 58 at Frankfurt. Tomorrow we're going to be humid and in the 80s, 81 Rochester, 84 Lafayette, and about 85 Crawfordsville. Kind of the same thing on Sunday, low to mid 80s, 86 at Romney, 85 Lafayette, 83 at Logansport. So there's the heat wave in the plains, and there are the storm clusters kind of forming on the edge of it. And that's what we're going to have through the weekend and into the very beginning of next week. This is going to be the zone where little clusters of showers and storms will develop. This is tomorrow. Notice where the heat is here and right on the edge where the, of the really hot weather, that's where the storms are going to kind of line up. And unfortunately, there'll be a severe threat, at least isolated in our area, but at least the, the main threat will be Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. But I wouldn't rule out a couple severe gusts here once we head into the evening. So this is tomorrow morning. There's 530. And then once we get towards 8, 9 o'clock, there is a wave of a few scattered showers, perhaps a couple thunderstorms, then a break. And then notice towards tomorrow evening how a little cluster of showers and storms assembles and passes through our area. I think we're fair game for this 6 o'clock and onward. That gets out of here, but another round may affect us once we get in to Sunday. And again, beware, there could be a severe gust or two with that. And finally, Class 1A state final, Central Catholic. Catholic, Vincennes Bay, a couple showers and thunderstorms around, but at least coverage only 20%, 79 degrees at 1 o'clock. 7-day forecast, we dry out by Tuesday with 83, 85 Wednesday, but more storms by Friday. The good thing is all the really intense heat just southwest of here. That's the best news I've got. Yeah, not <laughs> okay. bad. Not okay, bad Chad. news. Okay. Yeah. All right, Chad, thanks. Just ahead, the taste of Tippecanoe is set for this